your blade and... Fire trucks, they're built to tackle blazing fires with incredible water pressure. But have you ever wondered how powerful they are? Could a blast from one of these fire trucks cause serious injury or worse? Today, we're diving right into that question by aiming a fire hose directly at me. To do this, I teamed up with Scott from Kentucky Ballistics, the man with the fire truck and the only person who I knew who could legally spray me with a fire hose. How's it going, Scott? Doing pretty good. Just standing here with my master blaster. That's what I named it. Oh because that's not what it's called. No, no, I, I, I really don't know the technical term for it because I was a state trooper. You know, I'm just a firefighter on the weekend. So, Master Blaster, and I'm gonna blast you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's blast me. So Scott, I've been wanting to do this exact idea for a long time, but as it turns out, you know, local firefighting agencies mm -hmm. have some weird uh, legal liability issues with this. Insurance, always running yeah. the fun. I know, you just so happened to buy a fire truck and real quickly, can you give us a rundown on this bad boy? Yeah, I don't know why I bought it, um, but I'm glad I did. Uh -huh. It's a 1975 Ford 900. Okay. When I act like I, I know the it make sounds and model. big. Yeah, you know, it is big. Yeah. Actually, I can give you some random fun facts about it. Biggest engine they were making at the time. They okay. were using this engine for, I think, military vehicles. All right. Basically this thing right here will go up to 600 PSI, but I was told don't go past 200. And I mean, that's pretty much it. It got 1,200 gallons of water. And if I turn it up all the way, we could do all 1,200 gallons in like a minute 20. I'm happy you brought it up. On your channel, we saw what happens point blank to a ballistics dummy. Yeah, it's pretty mind blowing. Turns out bad things happen. So we already got like an understanding of how powerful yes. this is. Very good preliminary testing. Exactly. Yeah. So we are going to start out at lower power levels, farther distances, work our way in as much as we can and see what it can do to a real human. Yes. And I am greatly excited. Ever since you were like, yes, fire truck, I've been just waiting for you to get here because I am very curious to see what you can take from this thing. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm glad this is mutual. It is. I'm, I'm going to have a good time. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about safety on this channel. So we're gonna start at a pretty far range. As you can see, the hose is over there. What do you say that is? 20 feet or so? Mm, yeah. 25? Yeah. 50 PSI. Okay. So about a fourth of the max potential. From there, we'll start moving it in, increasing water pressures, but let's just hose me down at distance and uh, see how we're feeling. I, I'm, I think it's gonna be okay. I think you're gonna be surprised at 50. I think it's gonna yeah. hit you harder than you think. I'm a pretty hard guy. Not as hard as my hose when it's fully pressurized. You felt it, you know. You know, you used to felt it. You're talking about the fire hose, right? <laughs> I don't need that. Oof, I really don't need that. Hold on, this looks pretty cool. Okay, some North Norse God, and he's dead. That's gotta be Loki. Why is Loki always the bad guy? I mean, I get it, he's kind of like a trickster, and he looks kind of evil in this too. And, yep, yep. He's kicking everyone's butt. This cinematic's really well done. Damn, that looks awesome. If you love RPGs like me, you're gonna love this game, which is running one of its biggest events to date, the Asgard Divide. Now you're probably wondering how to get these new, exclusive, legendary Norse mythical characters, Loki the Deceiver, Thor, Fae Hammer, Odin, Fae Father, and Freya, Fate Weaver, to your champion collection. It's simple. Let me tell you. The Asgard Divide event runs from August 21st to November 22nd, with players being able to collect four champions based off Norse mythology. What's awesome is everyone can get the legendary champion, Loki the Deceiver, for free, simply by logging into Raid for seven days between now and October 23rd. So if you love RPGs, what are you waiting for? Click the link in my description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses available only via my link. On sign up, you will immediately get a huge starter pack with an epic champion Togar from the Orc faction. And you'll get another starter pack after reaching level 15, which includes an epic Knight Errant from the Banner Lords faction. You can come find me in game under the name Houston Jones and join my clan, the Data Collectors. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring and help making this video possible. Okie dokie, we're at about 50. I'm gonna spray it this way first, just to like figure out if it's... Ah, see, that's no good. Ah, ah. I'm gonna try. You ready? Yeah. Cut it off! <laughs> oh my gosh, so how was that? I am thinking right now and I'm like, not only do I feel like I dove into a pool, it pushed me back a little. Uh, you were moving. And I had a solid stance. Yeah, you were moving. That's a uh, lot of water getting chucked at you. Let's do same power level. I'm gonna walk it in 10 feet on me. 
Okay. Obviously, if I get uh, blasted to the ground. If you get knocked down, I'll turn yeah. off. It's only going to get worse from here, and I'm excited to see what happens. So am I. I'm going to turn back <laughs> on. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> see what I can do. I think I, I think I hit him in the gonads. You ready? You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Whoa. Oh no! Are you okay? I wonder if this is part of real firefighter training. Blew my straps up. That uh, that hit you pretty hard. Uh, so my mouth feels numb, Scott. I bet it does. So I didn't do that on purpose. That's okay. Even if you did, I really didn't. I know. If you haven't already seen the video on Scott's channel with me and Scott on this hose, it's incredibly hard to wrangle. Yeah, even even at 50 psi. I will say it's starting to hurt. Now that I moved in, it's starting to hurt. And when you hit me in the face, not only did it just blast my mouth open, my whole face chin feels numb it's tingling really yeah this is a fun test because not only does it show how hard it is for one very strong person to wrangle this at 50 psi but also this was much lower than what we're going to work our way up to oh man that's and nothing. when that thing hit me in the face i needed to get out of there yeah I, you you really kind of you like a ninja spin yeah well, out. <laughs> <laughs> You're like away from the pain. Yeah. <laughs> and you also got hit in the gonads yeah but luckily scott we're in a cup. Okay, you're smart. Safety you're first. Smart. It still hurt though, huh? Yeah, no. It, it, <laughs> it, you know, because it pushes the cup into your groin, <laughs> so it's compact in there. So I have a suggestion. Uh -huh. Moving forward, yeah. I think I should take my master blaster nozzle, uh -huh. and I can connect it directly to the truck. Okay. So that takes me out of it, and then we can open it, see where it's hitting, and then no matter what, that's where that stream's gonna stay. Let's go up to 100. I'll back it up again. 100. Another work our way closer. Direct stream. Yeah. Cool. We'll be good to go. Let's move on. Cool. Ready? Yeah. How's that? I feel like I'm being punched a thousand times a second. I am not trying to move when I'm walking into that stream. Yeah, it's moving. It's pushing me. Yeah, that's a hundred, right? Yeah. What if we went back to 50? Okay. And you scooted up really close, and I just gave you like one Mississippi one and close it. To my back? To your back and see if it knocks you over. Deal, let's do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna count one, two, three. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Damn it! Thank <laughs> goodness. Dude, I like when that hit you. I was like, this may really hurt him. The pain level was definitely different than when we had it at 100. Even saying that, like trying to brace myself against the, the water, yeah. damn near impossible. It's yeah. like the constant push. And that's know? a 50. I know. We hit my dummy with 200 PSI. And we saw what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a horse stance 50 to the front. Okay. I'm going to do this one on bare skin though. Okay. I want to see the, the pain, the is pain different. and if there we, we can notice any differences. Bare skin. Okay. I am very scared to do bare skin very much higher than 50. I think, I think you could take 100. Yes, I think I could. I think once we're getting up to your max power though. Yeah. No, 200? No, I wouldn't turn it on on you until yeah. you're that close. There's no way. Let's try 50. Bare skin to the stomach. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Give me three. All right, get lower. One, two, three. <laughs> You're in a real bad spot. <laughs> Dude, so like, yeah, when you got too low, I guess, uh -huh. it just pushed you over? Yeah. Well, part of that, I think it was just my mind giving way. I got some uh, ball action in there, you know? <laughs> and I'm protected, but psychologically, right. I'm like, I need to curl up into a ball protect. and protect these, yeah. you know? So the, the pressure is enormous. Like, my forearm right now Dude, it's red. feels it's red. It's red. Feels a little bit numb. I think if you got low enough and just took it to the chest. Chest, yeah. Let's uh, crank her to 100. Let me see where it's spraying. We'll uh, position there. Sounds good. 
I think you're gonna have to squat lower. I'm gonna give you a quick burst. Here you go. Get lower. Yeah, that's good. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Hit it again. Two All right, get lower. Here we go. You got to get lower. Here we go. <laughs> I tumbled on that last shot. That was pretty awesome. I have such a hard time explaining this feeling. Yeah. But when it hits you, there is no option, uh, I yeah, feel like. like it's gonna move you. I have a pretty solid stance there, too. Yeah, I'm thinking that this fire truck is a oh. lot like, uh, Oh. let's say you got some ketchup or something on you. Yeah, yeah, a little data leakage. Yeah. We're we're about at the range of PSI where we're about skin peeling, I feel. Right. I think at this point, what I wanna do, I wanna crank it to 200. However, we have big, big riot shields. Okay, all right, and I'm we're okay gonna with start that. far away here. Yeah. Okay. I want to see how far I can walk the riot shield into the stream. Sounds good. I think we're at uh, th we're still at three quarters of a tank. Oh, we got a lot of water to use. But when I turn this thing on, I need you to get to it real quick because we're going to be losing a lot of water really fast. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, okay. Cool. Ready? Here we go. So that was a lot. It pulled my pants <laughs> off, Scott. There is no way. I So where I got stopped is how close I could get. I could not move, let alone walk forward. The only option was to let the water take me. <laughs> just let it go. go. Sometimes, yeah. you, sometimes it's better not to fight, right? Yeah. Don't struggle. Yeah. I'm not resisting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really curious right now. Maybe you'd be up for it. I don't know. Hit, hit 200, me. get lined up, and I just go open close. This is where... We need to go. This is yeah. this, this is it. I like we're we're there. We're like uh, at the top. Yes. Let's get to 200. See where it's shooting. Yeah. I'll line up closer and on off. Yeah. Just real quick. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let this keep hitting you. I'd say about right there. Get low. You have to get low, low. Ready? Here we go. Good. Here we go. Oh, come on, you do another. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. You said you're bleeding. What? You're bleeding. I am? Your, your eyebrows cut. I hate it when that happens, huh? I feel bad now. I was a bad influence. Do we need to clean you up first? Well, how you... bad is it, Scott? Bad. Well, you, <laughs> you, you could possibly need a stitch. You know, that's why I pay for a really nice know, medical. I, you know what my dad would do? Super glue it. Well, that's what I would do. I mean, really, I don't know. We could probably just use some You little... know why this is, though? The shield hit me. I figured. Yeah. yeah. That shield is hefty. I thought you were doing fine, so I didn't really think anything was going to happen to you like that. I didn't think you were going to get cut. I always thought the potential of the shield to bonk me in the head was a possibility. I have no control behind that thing. Right. This should show you all you need to know about how powerful these things are. Yeah, they're pretty stout. Uh huh. Stout. And don't feel bad, Scott. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you're my friend, and yeah. I feel bad that I made you bleed. Yeah, it's OK. Well, no one makes me bleed my own blood except me. <laughs> and to be honest, I did that. Because I rolled back, and that shield, I just kept that shield with me. Yeah. And it tucked me in the head. I see now why the firefighters <laughs> wouldn't do this for you. No, yeah. Humongous liability, right? I'm probably going to be responsible now for new fire truck restrictions. And can you believe he never makes me sign waivers? Probably should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I will check back in a few days, give my final thoughts on fire trucks and fire hoses. If you haven't already, go check out Scott's video where we spray a ballistics gel dummy at point blank range. Yes. You can see the peak potential of this thing. If you haven't already got the idea that it's terrible, it's crazy. Go over there, check that out. We got another video coming up. Stay tuned for that. Once again, thank you, Scott, for having me out, even though my head is bleeding. I'm, I'm glad you came out, but I'm, I'm so sorry. Don't be I feel sorry. I'm really bad. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Thank you. It's time for the fire truck data review. A day after the experiment, my body felt extremely sore. It kind of felt like I got hit by a truck, which makes sense because three days later I had bruising on my shins, 
calves and around my knees. I also have about a one inch gash above my eyebrow from falling and getting hit in the head with the shield. Now, I probably should have got stitches for that, but I opted out for liquid bandage instead. So what did we learn? Well, not only is getting sprayed by a fire hose extremely painful, but it is absolutely capable of causing serious injury at higher power levels. But those are just my thoughts, and I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to click the link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses from Raid Shadow Legends. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one, where Kentucky Ballistic shoots me with a 308 cam cannon. That one left some serious bruises.